Okay, so we're, we're talking about books and like comics and uh, some of our favorites and the ideas that we're going to try to sell the other person on it. So you talked about Terry Pratchett, right? The best. Okay, so the comic that I'm going to try to sell you on is Saga. Let me back into this a little bit. Do you currently read comics? No. When is the last time you read comics? When I was young, it's like very, very probably little. like 12. I've always kind of read comics. I didn't start getting back into comics until I was older and had enough discretionary income to actually <laughs> yeah. buy a $6 you. comic right. once a month. You. But one of the first ones I got really into is Saga, okay? Saga came out in 2012, so it's about five oh, years so old. Oh, it's new, okay. Mm -hmm. It's currently running, so we're up to about 40-something issues now. And it's written by a guy named Brian K. Vaughn, who is a, a pretty famous and pretty popular and successful comic writer. Have you heard of Why the Last Man? No. Uh, and he wrote Ex Machina. And oh, I know that one. You know Ex Machina? Yeah. yeah. And he wrote a little one-off called uh, Pride of Baghdad. He was a writer on Lost. Oh, okay. For a little while. Okay. Right? Those a are couple not of volumes. Grandpa's comics. These are not Grandpa's comics. <laughs> I, I only have, like, the, I don't have volume one because I got it at the library. And basically, if, if you're new to comics, like, you can go down to the comic shop and buy what they call, like, a single issue for, like, three bucks. And that's the thin, staple-bound thing that we yeah, all grew yeah, up right. with, right? right. But yeah. if, if you don't have the patience to go down there, you know, the time to go down there and the patience to wait a week to get the next part of the story, you can buy... A collection of those individual issues that they call a trade, trade paperback or trades. And basically that is, you know, five or six okay. collected issues in one bound volume. I just buy trades and they come out maybe two or three times a year, three or four times a that year. Makes sense. Basically, Saga is set in this world where these two planets are fighting, but the story is about this family who is trying to like make it on the fringes of this ep this war. It's, it's in space, but it's not like too sci-fi, okay. right? Like the, the, the dialogue and the writing, you could almost use it, take it out of this and put it right into a contemporary setting. And it's just as relevant. The artwork is done by a woman named Fiona Staples. Oh, that makes um, sense. Mm -hmm. and the girls are all... Busy. The artwork is phenomenal. She's just as much a creator uh, and a part of like how the story evolves and how the characters evolve as the, the writer on it. So it's a really great partnership between those two. It's a page turner, you know what I mean? There's all kinds of different storylines. There's all kinds of different locations. It's a little... So how does it work in one of these trades and like the continuous line of them? How do the stories Well, it's all it's together? all sequential, right? But I think you could probably jump in, be up to speed on the story pretty quick if you just started with any any trade. I'd probably recommend a trade instead of a single issue. Um, so you can get deep enough, get a feet deep yeah, feel so for you, it. Yeah, so that you can kind of get a context. But basically, this family—it's—it's—it's it's, it's a guy from one of the planets on, that's on one part of the war, and a woman from another planet that's the other side. And so, not only are their worlds fighting, but they're always on the run. You know, they're—are they doing this together? Yeah, oh. yeah. Most of the time, they're together. They get split up and separated from time to time. Um, and then it, it's jumped ahead. Like it's—I mean, the first part is they she's having uh, their baby. Um, and now that baby is, she's got to be like seven or she's eight at this be point. Six. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it kind of jumps ahead in time and stuff, but it's just so gorgeous. And there's like all these little one-off characters and like the guy, one of the, one of the bounty hunters has a cat who can detect when you're lying, but like, it's just this little sci-fi geeky piece that's yeah, in the, yeah, and, yeah. and the whole thing is chopped full of it. Uh -huh. It's definitely... Not for kids. Well, the first it's, page I opened up in here was yeah, boobs. Yeah, yeah, So, so just and, random page. Yeah, boobs. well, and there's... You're, yeah, there's... <clears throat> but I would accept, expect that from a comic universe. Well, and, and here's the thing. The saga is, is produced or by Image, Image Comics. Image is kind of an um, independent type thing. They're not affiliated with Marvel. They're not affiliated oh, with DC. That's kind of fun, though. Yeah. 
Um, and it's basically a bunch of guys who you, if I'm understanding the origins of this, and I'll correct it in post if I'm not, but a bunch of guys that used to work for Marvel and DC who were frustrated with some of the limitations um, decided to launch their own comic publisher, and but they were all like owners in it. So while Marvel and DC have properties, characters that don't necessarily belong to anybody at this point, and they're responsible for churning out endless stories and, and stuff of these characters, the people who write stories for Image, they own those characters. So like Walking Dead is an Image comic, oh. Saga is an Image comic, and so... So they, it's modernizing the comic world, it's, kind of. Yeah, it's, some it's of a little things, more... Because some of those things, like Walking Dead and some of those things are now the rage things. Yeah, it's yeah. It's no longer Superman and... Yeah, Sarah. yeah. It's, they're, so they're, they're, they're the more They have some edge. fantastical stuff, they have some stuff grounded in reality, but it's all like um, creator-owned, and so they only publish when they want to publish. That's nice. Yeah, and they keep, you know, the the lion's share of the the profits, I think, and the way they have it structured. The storylines and... Yeah, so it's just the stories they want to tell. They don't have a lot of um, oversight from corporate telling them what they can and can't do. So as a result, there tend to be boobs periodically. Um, there's a lot of adult themes uh, in Saga. So it's definitely not for kids, but it's a really great... A compelling story for adults. 